Hey everybody, I'm Dave Lewick, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, and I'm doing a series on different ecosystems that are native to this area. And today we're gonna to be talking about the mangrove forests. Now, mangrove forests in Florida are what's considered tidal swamps. And by that, I mean sometimes when the tide is out, they're dry, and when the tide comes in, they're wet. Now, the mangrove forests are one of the most recognizable ecosystems in our area, and also one of the most important they used to dominate the coastline in this area, but most of them have been lost to development. So the, all the areas that are left, they're all protected. Now the reason mangrove swamps are protected is because of their importance to our local estuaries like Tampa Bay. A lot of different fisheries like snook, trout, redfish, sheep's head, shrimp, crabs, all these things are examples of different animals that are very dependent upon mangroves. Mangroves also provide roosting and nesting areas or rookeries for many birds, including some endangered species. Now, as the name implies, mangrove forests are dominated by the mangrove trees, of which we have three of them here in Florida. The red mangrove, which is the most recognizable, that is right on the coastline in the water, and then behind that would be the black, and then further behind that would be the white mangrove. Now mangroves are well adapted for their environment. They're able to secrete salt and they have different features like knees and prop roots where if you've ever tried to walk through a mangrove swamp, even if it's not flooded at the time, it's almost impenetrable with all those different features and prop roots. Now mangroves propagate by a seed pod that germinates on the tree and when it drops off, sometimes it just sticks right in the mud underneath it and starts growing there. Or if the area is flooded, it might go on the tide and move off to a different area wherever it sticks into the, the substrate that it lands on, it's gonna start a new mangrove. Now, some of the issues I deal with with mangroves is obviously a lot of homes along the coast um, the area that's behind them is mangroves, and there are a lot of rodents in mangroves, and uh, also because of those rodents, surprisingly in areas like Pinellas County, where most of the land is developed, the undeveloped areas of mangroves, so a lot of the rattlesnakes have moved into those mangrove areas. And also uh, raccoons. You go to a lot of mangrove forests at night, and you shine the light around, and you're going to see a lot of raccoon eyes glaring back at you. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you'll know when the new videos come out.